We are Acoustic Nomads. We are thrilled to be returning to the Jacob Edwards Public Library thanks to generous support from the Southbridge Cultural Council, which is financing this concert. Um, give it up for them. Woo! And also a special shout out to Miss Margaret Morrissey for making all this possible and for procuring such interesting acts. Not just us, but many others. Um, and, uh, uh, not enlighten, but I, I guess bring light into this space. Mm. It's really nice. Mm. Yeah. Well, we're going to start off uh, our show that we've been putting on. Uh, sort of goes by the name of Across the Americas and other names that we might decide to call it. But we really are trying to sort of cross all these different borders to show you that culture is everywhere and it is something shared. So we're going to start off in Brazil with a samba, which is the happy party fun music from the beach in Rio de Janeiro called The Turtle Problem. So while the, the while the carioca kind of music from Rio and from the center of Brazil is sort of the most famous, the south of Brazil has a lot of wonderful music and the north of Brazil has a lot of wonderful music. There's places like Bahia and Recife and Minas Gerais and their their family of music is not really samba, it's more fogo, F-O-R-R-O. -R -R -O. That's a whole family of different kinds of music for 
different stages of a party, basically. And so the sort of, not, not super slow, but the groovy, kind of mid-tempo, chill out music that they do is called Bayao. And so we're going to play a Bayao now called Onomaji, which means the nomad which is a tune that I wrote many years ago before we were called The Nomads. Mm -hmm. And so it's our unofficial theme song, just because we don't have a better one yet. It was, no, it was destined to be the theme song. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna go get a pick. I think I'm gonna wait. Yeah, no, yeah. Yes.
Uh, Ethan Zatillo on taking it all the way out to the finish there at the end of the <laughs> Yeah. Um, we are now going to do something we did not used to do back when we played here last. We are going to sing. We're actually going to circle all the way around the South American continent to Peru, which used to sort of be the seat of colonial power in South America, if I'm remembering that correctly. They held that for a while. Yeah, yeah the vice royalty of, of Peru. Yeah, and um, it's, it's a very, very beautiful country, a very complicated country, as almost every country is, you know, stuff happens, and then it keeps happening. And uh, one of those things is all these different cultural, this is sort of happens in all these different countries um, around the Americas, all these different people with all these different stories and traditions and ways that they like to express themselves come together and share the things that they like to do with each other. And people always, people are, they're unstoppable. They always pick up on the stuff that they like. And the stuff that they don't like falls by the wayside, which is why so much art is so good. And in Peru, that is no different. Um, there's a tradition of waltzes in Peru that combines these elements of flamenco um, music and singing and also indigenous music and also black Peruvian music from the formerly enslaved peoples of the African diaspora in Peru. And we're going to sing one of those songs for you now called Quebranto, which is Spanish for like a, an emotional breakdown, like when you break down and, and cry. The composer is Tato Guzman. That's right. Thank you. 
simply have to check out Rosa Guzman and her album Despertar, which is like, to wait. No. Is not? Awakening. Exactly. Like I said. To, <laughs> to, to awaken. Despera it's, it's almost, des oh. Desperar. Oh. To wait. Well, that shows you what I know. This is Despertar, which is Awakening. Yeah. So yeah, among the theories that we discuss when we have long car rides and we don't want to listen to anything. We have, I have a theory of, of uh, two styles of music from the turn of the 20th, from the turn of the 19th century, the one with the 18 in front of it, and then about like certain kinds of music that were invented in two different places that seemingly had nothing to do with each other, but these two styles of music were created, they were popular music, so they were meant to be, you know, listened by, to listen by everybody, they were performed, however, on the piano mostly. They needed to be performed by trained musicians. These kinds of music were really hard, really complicated, and yet appealed to the masses in some way, and were inspired by classical music. And these two types of music, one is called ragtime, and one is called choro. Ragtime it was invented in the U.S., and choro was invented in Brazil. And like you have Scott Joplin in the U.S., you have Ernesto Nazaret in Brazil, and many other pianists that invented those, th that wrote and composed in those styles of music and you know late 1800s early 1900s and then other styles of music came after that were deeply influenced by that mm -hmm. and so to me those two are like peas in a pot those two are the same situation in music and in society and they just happen to happen in places that are not connected but they are because of the tragic sort of history of the slave trade and the consequences of that and the mixing of people in that way Mixing is a good word, right? Yeah. Not the other one. Yeah. yeah. I used the wrong word recently. And so. It's so to exemplify this theory and to demonstrate it, as we have already before, uh, I wrote a tune called Mr. Rag and Senior Shore, in which these two genres sh shake hand, you know, hold hands and hug each other as brothers, long distant brothers. It's, it's a lot like this band. Or actually. sisters. I don't know yeah. who they are. But. Cousins. 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 All right. I want. That's it.
then writing that, I should introduce him, is Maurizio Fiore Salas. Appalachian folk ballad. We'll keep going with the tune of mine. This is Carolina Avenue. Thank you. 
and then and another one of our long car rides I had this other theory that for some reason the sort of mountain music of the mountain music connection you know one mountain music to another and so the mountain music from the Appalachians has a certain vibe which basically boils down to something close to what we were playing which is that sort of it's like tun tu tu 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 tun so that whole that tun tu tu tun tu tu tun like i found it in the sort of legend vibe and then i find it in the andes in the andean vibe of the whole mountain stretch of the andes that goes all over south america and so one very famous kind of music that they have in the andes is something called a wino and that's what we played now a traditional wino named plantita de alelí it's just a tune like many other tunes that they have. And we decided to pair them together to exhibit the mountain music connection. And I mean, I think it works really well. So I yeah. love being right. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to dive straight into sort of a, an insane and new grassy composition from the impossible mind of Ethan Satyuman uh, about fly fishing, which Maurizio uh, once said he thought was trying to fish from an airplane. <laughs> Um, no, from a helicopter. From a helicopter? That's I thought, I thought, just I thought, Ethan, I thought Ethan jumped from helicopters to fish. And the then fish he told me, oh no, so it's surprised. just like a weird thing that you do with the 
whatever, and then I was super bored. <laughs> That's not as cool as I thought it was, and so, yeah. Fly fishing from a helicopter sounds like a great way to lose your line if you cast up into the blades. I don't know. It's, it doesn't make any sense. This is called the woolly bugger. <laughs>
Tatino on, writing and uh, picking on that tune for you guys. And Clara Rose on the fiddle. And Maurizio Ferrari Salas. We have only one more tune for you tonight, and we are going to take you to Venezuela with a style of music that called Haropo, which is like the fastest waltz you've ever heard. Faster than any waltz reasonably should have been counted out at. Any faster than a human waltz. <laughs> this is the Haropo. This is spelled with a J. It's alien music. That's Noah Harrington on the bass right there. Who wrote one of the, one of the first two we were from. Yeah. And um, yeah, this uh, work, the Horopo is all over Venezuela. There's different kinds of Horopo in every region and many different forms inside of each region. And none of them like each other, which is hilarious. <laughs> they all argue about who has the best one and all that kind of stuff. But especially in recent times, it's either, you know, you're either playing like a folk thing or you're playing like a very high and like sort of complicated instrumental structure or horrible thing that you do for your musician friends and for people that like watching people sweat on stage and we have some of those we have a tune like that but we're gonna play you another one which is sort of a, a party horrible from the tradition of the east of venezuela the orientals we call them horrible oriental and they yell a lot for everything and their music is super loud super energetic and there's a tons of improvising in it so basically we're gonna sing we're gonna play a tune and you're gonna hear it twice, and then we're gonna go straight to a jam, and that jam is gonna last basically as long as our hands can go for, <laughs> or my voice can go for, because I'm also gonna be singing in a style that they call cotorreal, which means like a parrot, parrot-ish. So it's really fun stuff, and it, it goes on and on and on and on and on and on, and they never get tired. It's crazy. I think it's because they just keep drinking. As long as you keep drinking while you're playing, you can go forever. Let's keep drinking hot cocoa. I hope, it was okay to, I hope it was okay to say that in this place. I hope, yeah, we can't say drinking. Before we kick off this uh, last tune and end our set, I'd like to say one more time thank you to the Southbridge Cultural Council for this making this possible and bringing us out here yes. to share this music with you all. Well, thanks to you all for coming out. It matters a lot. And thanks to Margaret Morrissey for putting yeah. this all together. Woo. Thanks to TV guy there for all his wonderful cameras. <laughs> Hell yeah, we tuned it. It was great. Yeah. Alright, good night. No, I'm good. Right. One, two, three, two, two.
Andre St. Pierre Salas, Noah Harrington, we are Acoustic Nomads. Thank you so much. Thank you. Good night.